The vectors in set B form a basis. So we're asked to find a vector x given the B coordinates of vector x are negative three, three. We can determine the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis two equivalent ways. First, if we know the vectors in set B form a basis, and we're given the coordinates of vector x relative to basis B are negative three, three, then the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis vectors would be equal to negative three times the first basis vector of negative seven, negative two, plus the second coordinate of positive three times the second basis vector of 11, three. The first coordinate is negative three times negative seven plus three times three, which is 21 plus 33, which equals 54. And the second coordinate is negative three times negative two plus three times three, which is 15. So the vector with coordinates negative three, three relative to basis B is the same vector with coordinates 54, 15 relative to the standard basis. The second method to determine the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis would be to form the transition matrix from B to S, where S is the standard basis, and then multiply by the B coordinates of vector x or the coordinates of vector x relative to basis B. And the transition matrix from B to S is formed using the basis vectors in set B. So the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis is equal to the transition matrix from B to S, where the first column is the first basis vector of negative seven, negative two, and the second column is the second basis vector of 11, three. And then we multiply by the B coordinates of vector x, or the coordinates of vector x relative to basis B. The first coordinate is negative seven times negative three, plus 11 times three, which is 54. And the second coordinate is negative two times negative three, plus three times three, which is 15. So these two methods are equivalent. Either way, the coordinates of vector x relative to the standard basis are 54 and 15. I hope you found this helpful.